What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to some more Vicky 3 as Japan. We have a problem, and that problem is that France is going to attack us and try to remove us. Uh, they want to take Kyushu to Hokuchigoku, just to consolidate. That is our biggest island, middle of our nation, and in our second... Okay. Yeah, they, they want to take three of our largest states and Ryukyu, and that costs them only 36 cents for me. Okay, let's check the how much GDP is in these places. So that's 7 million GDP. That's 4 million GDP. Um, and that's, okay. So 13 million GDP only costs them 30 infamy, plus whatever the fuck's in Ryuku. I don't care about Ryuku. 2 million GDP. So 15 million GDP for 30 infamy. Let's just compare here. I can't claim anything because I don't have any interest over in Japan at all. Okay. Seems fair. Seems fair. And uh, can I get some friends to come and help us? Damn, y'all really hate me, huh? Uh, this won't pop because we're going to get this law passed pretty fast here. Uh, just Sean wants us to support their independence. You have a current revolt going on. I don't really care to get involved in that. Well, we're going to use our troops here to get some stuff done. Um, we need to actually build more. Okay, those should actually fix themselves. Let's raise the conscripts we have. Uh, mobilization laws. Let's uh, use just the basic stuff over here. We can use that. I'll actually give you, there are a small army here. This is going to be our range first. Our goal here is to snatch a little small island and use it to uh, get some stuff done for us. So one of our places is not doing well. The United Plants here is not giving us our steel mill throughput that we need. because We need to have better throughput for our iron mines. If we look at our iron... Also, we're going to have two of our biggest trade routes uh, drop here, which is not going to be helpful once this war breaks out. Luckily, they just said to go against their trading partner, like, right away. No consideration. Okay. Oh, we're going to be in an ugly way here. I need to get through at least our early uh, production here. I want to get through these barracks and the military shipyards. Um, and then we're going to probably pause construction for the duration of the war. This is going to be very expensive for us. No bread, no freedom. I'm in a wedge. I can go up. This is going to be hella, hella expensive. We currently have some people. Um, I'm actually fine giving those guys some interest groups. You're the attrition. Lose some power. I just need this to pass. It's going to take a little bit, but it'll get done. Okay, now we have the ability to actually build. At least we should. We need to get these fleets done. Four weeks to get those guys built in Kansai. Sailors are staying ashore. Cut my government wages to save some. Well, get my stuff done, please. There we go. I want to build a quick, like... Ten of these in Kansai. Here comes their navy. They're blockading me. Okay. There goes their navy. And now we should actually start getting a little bit of our navy built up here. Cool. Let's go ahead and pause our current construction while we're in war. Pay off our debt that we are accruing. Lose some popularity for some people. I like this movement here to enact the agricultural change. Need the fleet to gain some org and then we're going to start doing some stuff here. Yuku's small and un irrelevant. Let's take this little area down. Take our second army. Commercialist agriculture, I want the support. Elected bureaucrats are going to finish too. Bam, there we go. Elected bureaucrats and commercialized agriculture. Only pisses off some people who are not super influential. Let's get it done. The shogunate's around. We're suppressing them. Samurai are weak. They won't be able to attack us. 
I think I went a little bit overboard with the number of conscripts I'm raising. We don't need this many people. There's our naval invasion done. That should get us the war goal. We will be able to pay off our debts using them. Where else can we land to piss these guys off? Let's just land over here. In the French Congo. This is the market liberal versus the theocrat. Uh, let them fight. We lost the market rebel, liberal. So now we have... Okay, still fine. Our small invasions are helping. Having this large military raised, I think is fine. It, that's, it's a deterrent from them to actually attack us. We'll just take the hit to our income here. And we'll just accept that we're going to probably earn more back by sieging up the small stuff in the French Congo. If we actually can get a siege going here. Go ahead and cancel this. And we're just going to do a naval invasion over here instead. It's a different state. How far navy can get there. Bam, bam, bam. Now we can push the front. They're going to send troops to help out here. We'll just give it up once they get there. Uh, we will get the ooh, command economy. It's not it's too far away to actually want to push for it now, but we can try it. Democratic Solidarity. Am I getting... Am I getting blockaded elsewhere? Like, would you, are people embargoing me? What are these? Oh, it's because I'm getting, uh... Oh, getting raided to death. I see. Alright, let's go back home. We've got what we want to win this war. Just staying alive is now the question. Yeah, let's pull back that army. We don't need to keep our, uh, our guys here. Return to Cinder. Wish I could dismiss the conscripts. Cause those guys are not cheap. Alright, let's go ahead and just keep... Well... No, we will not. Let's just cut government wages. Tragedy of the Commons. Aggressive campaigning. Um, we'll lose some for the Agrarian Party. How's the election shaping out? Strong Agrarian, and then we're going to have Conservative in there. Do we have people who want to join the Conservative? We do. We'll probably kick them all out. All things considered. Getting close. Once these guys drop below zero, we think we'll have a chance here. Partisan Papers. Uh, we'll get a paper mill throughput. I have a lot of shortages. We're going to dismiss. We're going to actually um, stand down our smaller army here. What I could do here is I could do a new army and I just take the conscripts. Give me the conscripts. Move them all to that formation. And we can actually uh, stand down these conscripts. Demobilize them and go back to our other army. Have you raised? You have raised. So we'll just demobilize our conscripts and leave them there, and then we'll put them back in the main army once we're done. That'll save me some funds as more guys get raised slowly. Naval invasion, maybe? Probably not. Uh, we have anti-French. I will do an alliance with Britain if they offer it to me, for sure. Move to enact national supremacy. Yeah, I'll pass on that. What do you not like? You're a belligerent towards me. Okay, well, let's get out of this war. Please stop trying to kill me. I just want to build my nation in peace. I'm a friendly man. Hmm. 
All right, this will finish. They're just really, it's, they're just hamstringing my production. I hate it. I hate it so much. Your convoys are all gone. We have no exports or imports. We're largely self-dependent, but it still, it still sucks. Okay, I am getting, okay, that looked like a white piece. We are getting our war reps. From the bastards. Okay. Our stuff will slowly fix itself. Our credit, it's, we can actually afford to employ to work again. Okay. Let things slowly spin up. Let's see if we're going to be making money again. We'll pay off our credit. And we survived. We survived. It was it was it was tough. It was tricky, um, but we made it out without having any problems here. So we'll take the win. Easy done. Looks like we're earning our recognition here. Well, that's just because we won the war, not because our GDP is actually huge. GDP per capita is still very low for our country. Today living is going up a little bit, not a ton. And here comes our steel mill production. Okay. Good. So let's go back to our, our wages here. Steel is actually looking decent, mostly because of our trade routes, I believe. We are importing... Oh, we don't need to export steel. Stop that. Stop these ones that lose us money. Okay, we need to start making our glass, which is in the queue. Let's just kick all the glass works up. There's commercialized agriculture. We'll look at that in a second. Contraction and strength for the industrialist. Okay, so now we have commercialized agriculture. That means we're going to weaken the hymen. Uh, fun little nation that they are. Uh, we're going to throw in them into here just to help ourselves be good. And they're going to probably want us to do some crazy stuff that we don't care to actually do. Yeah, we'll keep them around just to keep us uh, in good legitimacy. Uh, we're going to work towards probably transitioning to the industrialist or the intelligentsia. Notice how we've now kicked out the other two folk that were being very annoying. We can look at our interest groups here and actually stop suppressing them. Because they are so irrelevant that they're not a factor. We're making our money again. I can actually go back to paying my government workers and slowly work towards getting our taxation fixed. I think we'll actually be pretty good off once we uh, get rid of the credit that we have accrued from that war. And things are good. Things are good. That was a concerning. I was worried, um, but we are doing fine. I hope this gets back to being prosperous. Let's check our markets here. Are we actually doing good with uh, iron now? Did I go overboard here? I did go overboard a little bit with our uh, steel production. We could export some. Export some to the French. I want to give them reasons not to attack us. So, that's my goal. Do general training here. Publicly, oh, I could do publicly traded in all of these. Actually, now it's only the manor house that do publicly traded. That's interesting. I like that change. Uh, our rifles? Yes. Steamships? Yes. Reinforcement ships? Yes. Have we... We're working on ironclad. We need gantry cranes as well. Society research. We're getting nationalism. Everything over here is fine. I don't think I need to really go down this line anymore. I think we're good. I think we fixed a lot of our problems. Yeah, this will fix itself. We need a little bit more hardwood, but I can uh, handle that pretty easily if I go to my... over here... Uh, where are my logging camps? Kick some of you over to hardwood production. And there goes the hardwood problem. Yeah, there you go. What are these? Um, migration traction, bonus storage repeater sounds good. International exchange standards sounds good as well. That's the benefit from mutual funds. Okay. Pissing off China, we now have an army of 157. 
We are number six in the world as far as battalion size. Love to see that. China is so, so, so weak, man. We just need a navy. And we're getting there. We're getting to that point, right? Because once we have ironclads and monitors, I feel comfortable just going hardcore on the military, getting our navy wrapped up. And then it's invade China, make Korea our own, those kinds of things. The only problem is having these guys maybe try to uh, put us down here. Let's try to make friends with the, the great power so they don't try to kill me again. It'd be nice if I could just do my thing. All right, two million in, in debt. 1K in unrealized taxes, a ton of excess bureaucracy, actually. Uh, enough to where I would love to just throw somebody in here and help out. Let's do this, and then uh, suppress the petite bourgeoisie. And with this, I can probably go and do some stuff here. Who's in charge of this? We have a positivist? State atheism technocracy, okay. Pissed off the people bourgeoisie, pissed off the marginalized people. Agrarianism. Property to women. Why are you so... Can I do guaranteed liberties? Oh, we need to get our law change here. Let's do, let's do right of assembly here. Should be fine. It's crazy how you still are like belligerent against me. Target of conquest and geopolitical affairs, the bastards. Okay, how do we deal with it? We still have a little bit of a, a deficit here on some things, but we're doing all right overall. We need more rice farms for sure. I just need to build up some railways in, in the states where we have uh, bad rail. Yes, can't do. Build two more here. Let's do bonus to the industrialists. Debate. We want the one that gives us the most increased uh, chance here. Zero percent chance to stall. We're going to repatriate this guy. Welcome to China. Cool. Steel holes from military shipyards, and we now have access to ironclads. Run away a little bit, because we need to get monitors before we can actually change things. And we're back to actually making money so I can kick back our taxes. And we're good. We are good. That was annoying and stressful, but now we are in a good spot here. Uh, about parity with Russia and Austria. And we're going to start taking stuff from China directly. Did I really fail a 70% chance to get 20% there? I think I did. You hate to see it, but it happens. Right. Fixing our rice problems. This stuff's fine. We do have a shortage of bureaucracy a little bit because these guys are now pissed, but we actually have enough surplus that I can do it and uh, not worry about having a huge budget deficit. Now let's import this from somewhere. Can't import from anywhere, apparently. What about exporting some of our iron? Nope, everyone has, everyone's good, apparently. Debate failed. Um, What has changed? So now, is it because they've joined the preserve censorship? I think they have joined that instead of uh, being in the other one. Yeah, that's going to be the cause. Okay, let's go and do some more construction improvements here. Let's go and do you up to 10 construction. Getting closer and closer to 400 there. Like this might push us over. Yeah, there we go. 
Making 50k in excess. Oh, it's because we have the... I gotta remember we have the, the war reparations for 60k, man. That's gonna throw my calculations off like crazy here. Yeah, keep that in mind. We want wealth voting. We're not doing wealth voting. Total separation. Oh, gotta queue stuff up. Uh, we want a ton of textile mills. Let's just make sure these ones are making default stuff. They are. Let's make sure we have construction being built on these railways in Chubu. Now, for our rails, we actually want to go and kick over to steel pasture cars. And for our... Where are our steel mills here in the urban? Definitely probably want to go and do... Where is it? Open hearth process eventually. So we'll hit that up in a little bit. Okay, steel holes will be good for us. Same with shipyards. We need gantry cranes where we can kick over to that. So we'll hit that up. Pass that law finally. Sixty-three million. Moved up to sixth. We're gonna catch up to Russia, and then it's just the big boys in front of us. GB is having it at themselves a game. We can get an alliance with them. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do it all now. Okay, that's good. Let's kind of plan out what I want to do with my navy here. I think I wanna. Well, I don't actually have the people building the ships that I need. Uh, we'll give him wound. Well, we'll take the initiative away from there. Please have this pass. Thank you. Asking you shall receive, apparently. Fixing our clothes and balance. Love to do some exports here. Arms industries. I think we're being limited by the number of interests we have with our comes to trading. I think that's a big factor here. We'll keep the current people in power. We don't get enough change to justify. Swapping things around. Western Australia versus the proletariat or well rest fascist Deluru. There's some stuff going on. Here comes the Heavenly Kingdom. I think uh we're gonna have ourselves a China explosion. Are you independent? You are dependent. I think you should be uh my subject. Fiftieth me. Oh, please take custody. Here comes Gantry Cranes, and let's go ahead and start kicking things over to using a steel production here. Uh, repeating rifles. We'll do it. Let's kick it over. Give it a little bit for Gantry Cranes. Three weeks. And we're going to want something like, say, 30 of those. Let's do 40 of these. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's do 50, actually. Doing 50 because we want to have uh, just enough to actually move our large army there. There's Gantry Crane's done, so we need to come over here, kick you over to Steam Ships. And then go to rural and put all of these on steam trawlers. Uh, 
Uh, we will just lose some industrialist approval. There is right of assembly. We now want to do... Now I want to go and do freedom of consciousness. Do total separation. Yep. We're passing the law. See how it goes. Need to get our fleet up a little bit here. Um, go ahead and just put the naval bases up top. Get that started. We'll probably need more of these ships. Okay. Oh, the ports need clippers as well. That's what we got to do. Industrial ports. And then once this is done, we can swap over to monitors and we'll be looking really good here. The new Colossus with the university throughput here. Uh, this fleet is going to need to be promoted. You're level five. We're going to need probably another one of you. We'll put Samurai in charge. There you go. What do they want from this? They want war reps? Okay. Soon we're going to need to start actually raising our military here. Preferably once the monitor gets done. Well, we'll take a look at it. All right, sounds like we are not going to do any uh, law passing here for total separation. These guys got too angry. So who's now our president here? This dude? Okay. So what do you want to do here? You want to annex Chile. Can you even reach each other? Huh, okay. So China's exploded. We're going to take advantage of that. This is a rare occurrence in these games. I wonder how they're uh, actually getting by with their income here. You have max gold reserves. That's fine. There's the coup de gras, and so we are going to get rid of the guy in charge of the petite bourgeoisie. Friendly encouragement. There's authority. We'll hit just interest for the shogun. That's fine. What's happening here? Why are we losing some stuff? Uh, let's lose the improvements with people like Russia. And them. It's tough to get that done. And R. All right. Might have done this war a little bit too early here, but it doesn't really matter. It just lets us get the FB ticking down faster, which is the real benefit here. Let's get interest in this region of China. Let's get some more government administrations, I think. Make sure our railways look good. They do. What's going on over here? Everything's fine. Our population is just growing, which is why this is happening. Eight nations is part of your custom union. That's going to take a while. Unless I make these guys part of my custom, which I could do, actually. That'd be a good way to expand without actually having to do anything crazy here. Yeah, 10 million pop. I could just get in by doing that. Keep that in mind. So government administration's being queued. A lot of government administration's being queued, actually. Looks like we lost our, our uh, investment pool transfer. Let's look back at the coal. I think we need a bunch of coal. Let's get just Kyushu actually kicked up really high here.
And three months until we can actually get our monitors. Okay. Things are progressing. We'll have our Navy. We have good trade already for the most part. Our funds are not terrible. I could raise taxes once and deal with our problems here. I could also do like a liquor tax to help out. So that's all acceptable. I think Sean Click is having its own little revolt here. What would you... Obligation. Okay. Bang government. Heavenly Kingdom. shang -Chi. This is your revolt in this region. How much people do you rep? You have no units. I'm going to just make a run through all of these regions. Wait, can I do multiple wars here? I mean, they're different regions. That's cool. It's going to cause a lot of problems. <laughs> this is, this is going to... Probably people hate us. Let's keep focusing on the military side of things, because I think I'm going to make a lot of enemies here. Um, I want to make sure I can uh, handle that. Okay, so this also means we can now kick up and do some monitor production. There's 40, 70, 90. Uh, let's do another, just 20 here. Oh, here's what we'll do, we'll do. Equal 120 here, and then we'll do another 20 in... My math is terrible. <laughs> that's, what is that? That's going to be 80, and that's 120. Well, there we go. There we go. That'll work out. Steel mills are still struggling, but whatever. Um, and then we need to upgrade our ships here. Can we upgrade the frigates? We can. And we probably should drop down to just that way. And let's just make sure we do these first here. Yeah, definitely before the coal mines. I'm going to get carpal tunnel. There we go. Here comes the Navy. they really don't like me here. Okay, here's the trick to this. We're going to take our army that we haven't raised yet. Land them over here. Keep marching them that way. And use this to try to get to Korea. While our navy builds up in the background. Excuse me. What do you mean you can't deploy front... Okay. Can this army get to that front? Can't reach Manchuria, okay. That's interesting. Up. Come to this front. Get the 5k over here, you guys can come to this front. Five days. Toku, toku eruption. That's fine. We'll lose a famine. It's going to cost us some stuff to run this. Once, as long as we get a foothold in Korea, we'll, we'll be fine. Breach loader for artillery. Okay, we'll just... Turn this on. We have enough steel. That's where I'm not worried. What are you doing? This is always the problem with this shit, is that it doesn't work. Oh, frontline system, you piece of shit. Now I've got to actually naval invade normally. Okay. 
Okay, you. Come to that front. 5k army. Come to this front. Annihilate this army with no manpower. Here we go. We've moved the front. Self-sabotage. We'll just get the lost popularity for our, my, our party. Okay. We are losing money. We're in credit already. Uh, but it will pay itself off after this war is over. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Okay. So now we have this guy as a subject. We should have him as a subject. What happened? Did they just get... They capitulated to the other clique that I was fighting. <sighs> okay. That's a scam. I mean, we occupied them completely, and, and it doesn't transfer over war target, apparently, so... That sucks. Um, this is split in two here, which is not good. Um, come over here. Move to this front, please. Okay, time to split half your army off. Okay, war's over. Good. Welcome to tributary status. You'll enjoy it. Let's get some rivals so I can actually... Uh, Heavenly Kingdom, Egypt, the Sikh Empire, Tibet and Siam. Okay, well, we now have a bunch of infamy that I did not choose to take, so that sucks. We'll just kind of deal with it. We'll restrict child labor, make people happy. Um... And let's just raise taxes one hit to make sure we can afford stuff. We are not doing enough money. What is happening? I can't do anything about this. Let's go ahead and stop suppressing them. Uh, reset and put a good party in here. Okay, we'll get the law passed. Plot to coup. You want to establish a market. You should fail this. I desperately want you to fail this kill. It's against my interests. So who are you? You are... a pacifist. No colonial affairs, sure. Okay, so... This is a huge opportunity for us. The main problem we have here is that anything we do is going to cost us a ton of infamy. And then we're also kind of getting screwed a lot with uh, the way this is working out. Like We should have had all of this region as our subject, but it did not work, uh, which is unfortunate. So we'll take as much as we can. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of infamy to be gained there, and we don't have enough uh, decay to actually get it all done. But we can try. We can see how much we can take. Uh, it'll be it'll be fun. So we'll go for it. We're up to 7 million GDP, 72 million GDP. So we're solidly in fourth. We can probably pass the French Republic. Don't know about Britain. Britain's kind of been going crazy this game. They've uh they're kind of the only person who's colonized a little bit. There's a little bit of Portuguese and some French over here, but mostly GB. They're uh, handling their uh, business. They're, they're doing what they should do, considering they're the uh, strongest nation in the game. Uh, industry band pop support, sure. And now they're fighting the United States, so let's see what they offer me to get involved here. Considering they are my ally. Let's see, what will you offer me to get involved over here? Here it's your independence. Get an obligation for them. I could take...
You should already defend me. I'll take an obligation. We're not gonna actually fight in the war, but we'll be we'll be around. Let me go ahead and levy attacks on our T, I think. And I'll do liquor tax too. Just to pay off some of this damn interest we're having. Dealing with some of our coal shortages, that'll help us out immensely. Can I get a mutual investment agreement with you? I could grant rights, but I can't get rights. Okay. Additional country, we can... This dude dies. Company, we need another one. Our steel one's unproductive, but I'm hoping it'll fix itself as we keep building up here. Fertilizer throughput sounds good. I think state construction efficiency is better just to build things faster. Throughput is always king here, because the bit more you build, the better you deal. I'd rather not piss off the people in our government here. We're already bad enough with some other things. Okay, this is getting done in. So what are my overlord actions I can do for you? I'm going to reduce our subject payment so you actually will like me a little bit more. So play here, what can I get? Obligation, obligation for the Heavenly Kingdom and the Taipang. I swear if we end up back in a monarchy after all this time, I'm gonna go crazy. We'll lose some authority and legitimacy, don't care. Of course, they have kind of dropped a lot in the standings here. They're no longer very powerful, which is good. We're starting to be able to get rid of them. So I'll use for the coup to tap out here. Oh, we're getting naval invaded. Let's just raise our military. In fact, I could have just used the Navy instead. Let's get rid of the Army here. Just station the Navy. That'll fix our problems. Let's have the small Army raised. I just don't want... I don't want them to get a free piece of land for us. Theoretically, the Navy should stop both of these, but I don't know how it's going to work with two if it kind of does some weird shenanigans where the Navy's engaged, the other guys get a free landing. I don't know how that works. Um, but we will see. I want to have a little bit of army raise just to kind of make sure nothing crazy happens. Because it would not be the first time I've been screwed by something like that. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I pissed them off by moving them out of the government while they were doing a kill. Oh, well. We're on the way out anyway, so we don't care. All right, so we win this one. Kyushu coal mines. We're going to have all of our coal fixed. We're going to have way more coal than we actually need in Kyushu. Probably went a little bit overkill here, but we will ramp up production, so it doesn't matter. Let's get more rice farms. I probably should do some... Well, we'll do rice farms. Make sure our infrastructure's good. So what is this all about? They want to take Malta, Guatemala. I think we... Oh, I think they've... So Candace can get transferred over to fucking... France? France is going to get Canada? Thank God we only have this one thing to defend here. This is a mess. Two million in debt. We're paying it off. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, but we'll get there. There's still some revolts going on. Taking down our infamy. I'd love to get into the Gili clique and have them become our tributary. 37 infamy. We'll definitely do it. Just because this is, you know, this in Manchuria is, is basically the colonial territory that was uh, Japanese during World War II. Or like the lead up to World War II. Circa 1936. Um, so that's going to complete our goal there. 
and I'm just enjoying playing a good casual Japan game. No, no overarching goal, no crazy things I gotta pull. Um, just really focusing on the building up, the building up, making your number bigger, and building up your economy. At this point, we're just massively strong. We just don't have good export targets because of our lack of interest, which I should resolve. Give me interest over here so I can trade with most of these nations. And let's keep focusing on this region here. I don't care about any of this stuff. Let's get interest over with America so we can trade with them. And then I guess we could do some Oceania, East Siberia, um, Italy, the Baltics, or the, uh, not the Baltics, this is Greece. Persia, what would you offer me to get involved in your garbage? Wait, are you attacking Kabulistan, who's part of... Okay. And treaty's done. Open hearth process for our steel mills. I'll turn that on. That'll be cool. No colonial affairs. We have dependent income done. Can I go to laissez-faire? Now the current people in my government. I cannot. Yeah, I hate to see it. I would love to put our free trade guys in. What can I do? State atheism, theocracy. I mean, let's go be an atheist state. Let's see if I can get it done. Why not? Why not indeed? So maybe I just... Do I have to raise taxes all the way? I do. Let's just pay off this debt, man. It's rough out here. 9k in interest. So is this going down? It is going down slowly from our infamy. How is our... G per capita is growing. We're getting closer to being in the range where we can earn recognition. Coal mines are almost finished. How is our coal production? We probably have a surplus now. We do. We have a huge surplus. Let's export a lot of this to the Spanish market. But crazy. Anyone over here going to give me anything? Nope. No one wants to give me anything. All right, so I'm going to cut in here. So we fought off the French. We have a foothold in the mainland. And we're getting closer to kind of accomplishing our goal of recreating our imperial Japanese borders, despite the fact we are not imperial at all. Um, so haven't got any events for the Meiji Restoration. Like, I'm surprised. Let's survey a skyscraper site, but... Normally, I would expect to have had something pop related to that. I don't wonder if it's because I changed my government through, like... There's the Warlord era. But there's nothing related to those old events for the Meiji Restoration. I'm concerned. Am I missing something? Yeah, I don't know. Normally, you have some events that change the ideology of these guys, and you have, like, a journal entry. I don't know if it's because of the way I did the revolt to swap government types, but... Feels like it's broken because there's there's still there's achievements in the game for the Meiji Restoration and I'm not getting the events so something doesn't line up there but it doesn't really matter um, it just means I mean the interest groups that were involved there are still not even they're not even strong anymore it's the samurai and the shogunate uh, which is which is really funny that these have not changed their name because normally their name changes too so I don't know there's some there's some shenanigans going on there with how I've I've played the game so far so I'm curious about that but. We're going to keep chugging along. We'll keep doing our buildings. Uh, just kind of relaxing the last 30 years here. We'll, we'll try to get the number bigger, but nothing too crazy. Eating up China and just kind of uh, riding into the land of the riding sun, rising sun, I guess. Yeah, but whatever. Um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I've been Sean, as always. Um, I'll catch you next one.